Hey everyone, and welcome back to One Block Skyblock. So, as you can see, it looks very different since last time. So, a couple things have happened. So, first of all, the other world is gone. So, we are basically kind of starting fresh, but I think I'm back to where we started. Maybe a little further. I am so confused. So, in the other world, if you can see the chat, I didn't have that before. So, it kind of shows um, the one block and who made it. And also how many blocks you've mined. So, I have mined 814 blocks. And... I'm still not at another phase. So I think something is broken. So we're just going to manually put it to another phase. And I wasn't able to do this with the other one. So yeah. We will do it with this world. But because I mined 814 blocks, I got so much stuff. And like I didn't get to a next phase or anything. I just kept getting the same stuff over and over again so yeah we have a lot of stuff which honestly is not the end of the world but yeah so i am just going to show you guys what we're doing so if we click to open the settings we are going to skip a phase but first we're just going to go to help menu as you can see we're in phase zero we're still in the tutorial phase and I looked online, and the tutorial phase is supposed to only last 100 blocks. And we have passed 100 blocks. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to say we are in the planes phase, I guess. I don't know. So we're going to skip to phase. And here it says to proceed, you either need to have cheats enabled on single player so because we are doing single player um i think this is what was wrong with the other one because i had no cheats enabled but now i do have cheats enabled which of course i'm not going to use cheats but i just want to let you guys know that cheats are enabled so we'll proceed and we will so we have the tutorial and then it goes to phase two. So it doesn't even have the planes phase. It just kind of goes right to the underground phase. So yeah, we'll definitely do that. But these are all the phases. So I don't know if it's going to automatically go to the next phase afterwards or not. But we will do, it says online. It's between 700 and 800 blocks, or 700 and 900 blocks, for each phase. So, we will do that here. We will... I'll keep, like, a note saying how many blocks we've broken, and I will just add them up. And if it doesn't automatically go to the next phase, then I will just do this, and we can go to the next one. So... We are in the underground phase now, and I don't know if you guys saw, but this has changed. So I am so excited. So we're finally moving on, but we're not even going to be dealing with the block right now. We're going to leave that. As you can see, I have so many things running around. We need to figure that out first. So I... I'm wanting to first figure out where to put these guys. Second, get a farm set up. And third, make a house. So honestly, that's what we're going to be doing today. We might just leave this. We might do a little bit. But yeah, we're mainly going to be building the sky block area. So, first things first is I'm going to grab um, quite a bit of oak, and we'll just grab a stack here. And we 
have to put these guys somewhere. So, what I am wanting to do is to make a little bridge over to another area. So, I don't know if we should... I don't know where we should put it. We'll, we'll go over here. Yeah, right? Yeah, why not? Right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, what we'll do is we'll make a little bridge. So, we'll go just like this. And one, two, three. I don't know. I think three might look the best. Might have to make it bigger. We could do four. Or let's just... I don't want to knock you off. Okay. So... The bridge is going to be a little weird looking, I would say, at first. And then it will make sense afterwards. So let's just get a lot of slaps because we need a lot. So what I was thinking about doing is having it kind of go up a little bit and then back down so that it's kind of like going over. I, I feel like dipping it might be a little hard so that's why I want to go over instead of under. So I don't know how far I want to go to get it to go up a little bit. But what I'm thinking about doing is, so we have this one here. What if we put that... And we have this go like that for a little bit. And then we go up again. And that's why I need these so that I can go back down. But we'll also have to put them at the edge here. Okay, let's crouch so we don't fall. Okay, I think this would be far enough. Okay, and then we're gonna go back down, which, give me one block. And we will go We'll say three. Um, yeah, because we have three there. Sorry, I'm trying to think on how I want this to look, but also make it look nice at the same time. So, um, one, two, three, perfect. And then this would be the very end. And what block is that on? So that is like right underneath. So what we need to do is grab a water bucket because we don't really want to die. So we are going to let the water just take us down a little bit. And right there, I think that will work. Okay. And there we go. Okay. So, yeah, I think this is pretty good. And when it comes to the sides, I have some ideas, but we'll get to that afterwards. So, we have quite a few of 
animals, so we need this place to be pretty big. So I'm going to kind of make a circle like that. Not as big, but big enough for all the animals to fit in. And then we will go from there. Okay, because it's becoming nighttime, I will be right back. Okay, so it is almost daytime, and I just want to show you what I did. So first of all, I won't be able to get rid of that very under middle part, but honestly, I think it looks fine. We will deal with the sides and a railing, and then I made just something like this. So my entire plan is just to kind of put something around like this so they don't fall off. And I do know that we will get some mobs and yeah, so we just don't want anything to happen to the wildlife. So I'm thinking like that, but what I might do is bring this back one or I could just put it like that and get to yeah I we're gonna leave it like this yes we will so we need to try and move all these guys over but first of all I want to grab this and a couple of these so what I'm thinking about doing is putting these kind of at the sides here just like that and then we're gonna put some um, one right here one right here on each side don't know exactly how I want to do that but let's say like this oh perfect and we'll do the same thing on this side and I don't know if I want to go up one or not maybe I probably will actually so that we can kind of have like a little safety railing and just one more on this side yeah so let's bring this up one and we will make some more fences but let's get a couple different things in here so first of all oh my goodness okay actually we will make quite a few okay after struggling i finally made them so we'll open that up because um they can go through the middle here but with this, we're just going to go, I don't know how I like that part, oops, don't know how much I like it being so high up, but like even right there, like I think we can step on that. I feel like this will be safer and even just like maybe doing this will make it a little bit nicer looking so yeah well we'll do that so I am gonna get all the animals into the pen and I will finish doing this and then we will move on to something else. I don't know which one yet, but I will be right back. Okay, so we got them all in here. So it's very nice that now it is open and we don't have to listen to them all the time. So the next thing we should really do is start building our house. And then we can probably work on the farm afterwards. So with our house, 
I would like to have different blocks as well, but we will we'll do our best. So the first things first is I kind of want a L-shaped house. So I am thinking of having this not in the middle, but in the middle of a room. So if that is the middle, we're going to go over and over and then here. So perfect. And then we are going to go boom. Um, right there, and then wall, door, wall, window, wall, pillar. And then we're going to go pillar, wall, one, two, three, wall, pillar. And then we will have this connecting up with this one, which should be right here. Yes. Okay. So we kind of have a little bit of the layout done. And what is really going to happen is it is going to be up like one or two blocks. So I would love... For it to be cobblestone actually so we are going to break some blocks which is awesome so let's get a pickaxe here so what i'm thinking is having kind of like cobblestones um walkway ish oh so something like here and then we'll have stairs there so I kind of like how it's all cobblestone and it will also give it a little bit of a different color and oh my gosh okay actually we need to make a different pickaxe now okay we are just gonna throw that off because we have some coal oh my gosh okay this is awesome oh iron as well that's perfect oh my gosh that was so much so anyway let's do that and then I need some more Okay, I think that should be good. So we'll make stairs so that we can put it just along there so that we can come up and our door will be here. Okay, awesome. So for the walls, call me crazy. But I was kind of thinking about doing some stripped. I kind of like how it looks. I don't know why, but I kind of do. So we are going to go one, two, three. So I might go up one more because I kind of want a, here I'll show you, so I'm kind of thinking about doing a stair, window, and stair. I don't know, I think it would kind of look nice. But at the same time, I don't know if it would be too high. 
because what I could do as well is stare, stare, and then that would be the window. I think that would be a better level. So we're also going to put a window here. We are going to be using a bunch of these. Okay. That one is a little far down for my liking, but it should be okay. Mm. It's on the same level, which is kind of crazy, but you know what? We'll leave it. What we could always do is just get rid of this one altogether, but we'll leave it for now. So that would be what our front would look like. I kind of like it. Okay, so I am probably going to just move this up one more. I thought about it and I feel like it would make the most sense and it would look the best as well. So we are going to have that there and and then we'll put something like some bushes or something there. And then at least here, it will look a little bit better. So I'm also going to plant some trees because I feel like we're going to run out of trees pretty quickly. So I'll put one there and one over there. Okay, so awesome. And... Perfect. So this pillar is really going to be taken down. We don't need it because it will be on the inside and you will not see it. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we need that, but we'll leave it there for now. It might look nice. Uh-oh. I totally forgot about mobs. Okay, so we will definitely need to um, put some torches over there. Totally forgot, but that's okay. We're going to put one right here with us. So when it comes to the doorway here, I am going to put that... But I'm going to get rid of this block just so we can use it for something else. Save a little bit of wood because we will be on this level. And down here it will kind of drop down. And these blocks we'll see. These we really won't see. So again, to save a little bit of blocks, we could get rid of these and move them. So let's put these here and perfect. Okay, so we are going to go up with this and let's get some more stairs. So I kind of like using stairs for some depth. Perfect. Okay, that looks awesome. And then we'll put a window here as well. And... Oh no. 
Okay, we are just going to go up. And awesome. I think that's good. Perfect. Okay, just like that. So we have our door, our windows. We'll put some like bushes here as well to make it look a little bit nicer. And I would like to get even more cobblestone because I would like to put some cobblestone here and make this area like a little chimney. I don't know. It's kind of what I'm thinking. But we'll leave this area area blank for now. And back here, I feel like we will be using so much wood right now. Oh my goodness. So I think we should do window. Uh, window and window. Yeah, we'll do that. Perfect. And then on this side, we will put some windows as well. Oh my goodness. Okay. This was probably not smart for what we're, <laughs> what we're doing, but that's okay. I so far like it. I might regret it in the future, but that's fine. That is fine. So window wise here, I am going to do that. Maybe put a window here. Maybe put a window here. And we could put a window there as well. Just so everything kind of stays a little symmetrical. Okay, beautiful. So our mobs are kind of despawning. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put something up there. Oh gosh. Oh no. Okay, perfect. Okay, so for in here, we're gonna put one there and one over here. Oh, and a sheep got out. That's fine. We'll put the sheep back in later. And the Enderman will be our friend and will just hang out with us. Okay, so now that that is done, I am going to fill in where our windows are with the stairs and I'm also going to place the floor down. So I'll probably honestly just use oak and I'll place the floor down and then I will be back, I guess. Okay, so I finished the floor and I have finished this area. So I wanted it to kind of go down a little bit. So I do know that there will be some mob spawning. I don't know exactly which kind. So I kind of just put this up as a little barrier. And for the roof, I don't want to do oak again. I would love to do like a spruce wood or something like that. So we are going to honestly hold off on doing the roof. I know that sounds crazy, but we are. So after the underground, it's the icy tundra. And I'm pretty sure we'll get some spruce wood there. So we'll just hold off and wait until that hopefully get some spruce wood and then we can finish the place. So I 
need to lock that guy back up. But over here, we need to collect some cobblestone so we can finish this area. So let's start doing that. So this is kind of what I thought. Oh my god. Ooh. A mushroom cow. I am not mad at that at all. Okay. Let's get our wheat. And let's make some bowls. Because that would be perfect to eat. So, come on. So that is really good. Oh, come here, come here. It's okay. Come on, let's go. Thank you for the food, by the way. I appreciate it. Okay, so we are just gonna come this way. Perfect. And everybody can stay in there. Okay, lovely. So we are just gonna throw a bunch of stuff in here because we do not need a lot of this right now. And we'll move our food down here. So eventually we will get our chests and everything in here. But for the time being, it's just all going to stay out there. And that actually reminds me. I do need to try and make a way that we can go down easily. So we'll figure that out as well in the future. I did not expect a mushroom cow to be spawning with the underground. So that was very interesting. Oh, and another one. Okay. Well. He can just hang around. That's fine. Uh, let's see. That area is pretty lit up. So that's awesome. So I don't think we'll have too many mobs spawning. Oh, and a chest. Okay, awesome. So, I am just going to fix this area. I think I have enough items to do so. So, I am going to do that and I will be right back. Okay, so I was mining. Okay, just to get some more. And these two guys just popped out of it. I don't have a sword or anything, but... Yeah, so, okay. Zombies we can get, which I had a feeling. Honestly, I feel like all the regular mobs will be getting. So. And by regular, I kind of mean, like, zombies, skeletons, creepers... And spiders. I don't think we'll get any endermen, but I could be very wrong. But anyway, so this is what I was kind of thinking. I will need to do this one higher, though. Just so it will look a little bit better. Oh, goodness. So, yeah. On the inside, this is what I was kind of thinking about. It would look something like that. And yeah, so the roof would go over and that part would just stick out. And what we'll probably do is bring these kind of in and down a little bit and have like a little campfire or something in here. But I would like the 
us to do the roof beforehand. And I do have it just sticking out a bit so that it kind of looks like a chimney, but yeah. So that is done. And now I think that should be it. We'll mine a little bit more, see kind of what else we can get out of this underground phase. But so far, I think we are done. I am probably going to do some building off camera and more. I am probably just going to do the farm. Maybe a tree farm as well so that we can get some wood as well. But... Oh my gosh. Okay, so two spawn each time. So that's great. But I also might do it the next time as well. Yeah, we'll do it next time so that we can do this together. Oh my gosh. Also, I don't know how long this series is going to go. I'm expecting it to go quite some time because we will need to go through each phase and of course what the end is going to be is us defeating the dragon. So because the last phase is the end so what we're going to be doing is fighting the dragon and then yeah that's about it so yeah we will have to mine a bunch of this on camera but i will be doing some of it off camera as well because it is seven to eight or nine hundred blocks so it's going to be a lot of mining, but anyway, thank you so much for joining. I really hope you like it, and if you do, please like and subscribe, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!